things fabulous with First for Women on Afternoon Express. For insurance with a host of fabulous benefits, call 0861 11 1844 or SMS FIRST to 49267. South Africa, I'm Danilo Aquisto. I'm Jeannie D, and welcome to Afternoon Express. Today we're taking a little trip to the leafy suburb of Hillside in Johannesburg to pay tribute to one of South Africa's favorite television shows. It has been on our screens literally from the beginning of the millennium, and it has recorded over 3,500 episodes. So if places like Opikopi, Hilda's Deli, The Hillside Times, Felicity's Fashion, sounds all too familiar to you, then you definitely want to stay tuned for this entire hour. Ja, Jenny, dis reg. Vandaag vat ons een trappie duur, sevende laan. And then that's about as much Afrikaans as I know up until this point. So yes, we do have we do have some of our best love actresses joining actors and actresses joining us in the building today from Siam and Delan. Theodore Yankees is in the building with us today. We've got some very cool cast members with us, and it's going to be an absolutely epic show. But we're not alone today. We've also got Bonnie Bon Bizzle in the kitchen. Of course. Good afternoon, South Africa. I'm Bonnie Mbouli. So remember last week we brought you the story of that beautiful stray dog, Pemba? Well, today we catch up with him as he goes to a Walk the Talk charity event and joins thousands of other dogs to walk for charity. And today in the kitchen, I'm joined by Nadia Arbi, Willie's product developer. We'll be making something quite sweet and a little bit different. I love quiche. Okay. We're making pumpkin quiche today, right? Yeah. And I've always wanted to learn how to make it. It's one of the easiest things you can make. Um, it's delicious and it's mm -hmm. quick and it'll wow your friends. Awesome, I can't wait. And if you're following along and cooking along with us, go to our website www.afternoonexpress.co.za. But for now, let's join Danilo and Jeannie with some of our favorite actors. Thank you so much. Remember today, if you have any questions for us, a fantastic cast, you can also give us a call on 083-913-3728 and also be part of the conversation. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express and you can make a comment on our Facebook page. But today we celebrate the family of Sieven Delan, the popular SABC2 soap, which has been a people's favorite for 50 years now. <laughs> now we've come to know and love these characters so well that they honestly feel like part of our own family visiting us in our living rooms every single evening. So joining us today are fan favorites and recent winners of the Youth Spectacular Awards for favorite actors, actor and actresses. They play the lovable mother Charmaine and her charming son-in-law Zander. <laughs> Vinette Abraham and Theodore Yankees. Welcome to our love. Thank you Thank you so for much. having us. I feel like this is very long overdue because I think you guys had me on set a good couple of years ago yeah. as well to play a character on Sierra de Lan, which is amazing. I always think of myself as a soap star. Here. I, I yeah. love this kind of reciprocal thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it should How be done roll. more often. Absolutely. Now, congratulations for your U Magazine Awards. I mean, favorite actor, mm. favorite, act uh, yeah. favorite actor, favorite actor, favorite actress. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch a switch that one around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that a little oh. bit later. <laughs> But congratulations. Thanks so Thank much. you very much, Jenny and Danilo. Mm. Um, I, I think we we only got those awards because you weren't there this year. <laughs> <laughs> Jeannie, the Jeannie D Award. <laughs> no, but it must be wonderful to be yeah. so celebrated. I mean, the country really loved mm. the two of you so much. Mm. Yeah, I think it's, uh, for me, it was a humbling experience, actually, to be nominated, first of all, mm. um, with actors that's, that's so good and, and well-established. You know, and then and, and, and it's it's humbling because the people show res so respect for you, mm -hmm. and they, they they nominate you, and that that's why you win the the awards. And I mean, yeah. it's it's been a highlight. Absolutely, I know you guys. I love chatting to you guys off air because you've got so many stories to share. <laughs> there have been so many highlights, I'm sure, in your long journeys on Seven Delan, and it's been an incredible story that you guys have been telling uh, together. Yeah. What are some of your highlights uh, from from your experience so far? Phew, uh, Sixteen years down the line, <laughs> there've been lots of yeah. highlights. <laughs> um, you know the, the the stories that that we've told. I think it also um, uh, um, Zane Mears coming in to play my husband mm -hmm. has been yeah. um, one of the the highlights as well. And then um, his disappearance and then raising from the dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, also working with um, Abdurrahman mm. Adams as well because he's one of my favorite people in the mm. whole world. And and 
just to have been able to work with him. Yeah. It, it was a, sure. an amazing experience. Mm. Well, life changing in 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 this respect that we've always wanted to work together, mm, yeah. and it was it was really wonderful. Bucket list tick. Yes, absolutely. It's nice mm. to work with with guys that that's been doing it for years. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I I'm I'm the kind of actor I steal with my eyes. Yeah. If yeah. you do something that <laughs> but yeah. that's how you that intrigues me, absolutely. then I, then I use it in in my performance. Absolutely. You know, you can only get better. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. And I mean, that's that's the nice thing of nice thing of of, of acting. You yeah. you never get to a point where you relax. Mm. Yeah. When you relax, the work that will show. You how many years have you been on the show now? Well, t last night I I counted a day. Um, I've been there. Almost 13 years. Yeah. Wow. And you 16, 16 years. 16 years. Yes. That is incredible. Yeah. I mean, you guys taught me how to speak Afrikaans. <laughs> Maybe that's why my Afrikaans is a little bit broken. <laughs> 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 but I mean, it's, it's so, yeah. do people know how to separate the real person from your characters sometimes? You know, that's a very interesting question. Mm. Um, I, I have to actually say no. Yeah. People don't. People in South Africa just don't read film well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and that is, uh, I know I'm, I'm making a generalization here. But, but it's true. But we found it, especially with soap. Absolutely. You know, um, very few people know our real names. We yeah. walk out in the street and it's always Charmaine. Yeah. I mean, I, I was in Camden. Um, uh, you know, a while ago, and I, I suddenly out of the blues, Auntie Charmaine, Auntie Charmaine, and there were these two huge, um, you know, Afrikaans yeah. guys coming running down. They'd been in London for three or four years, and yeah. that's all they remembered yeah. wow. was Seven de Lan, <laughs> you know. Okay, Charmaine, so can you tell me <laughs> 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 what are some of the scenes that you've done throughout a 13 year and a 16 yeah. year career that really stand out for you? Some of the most you know, the funnest or the mm. most powerful yeah, scenes yeah. that you've done? Yeah, I've, I mean, <laughs> I've, I've been blessed to, to, to be able to, to get storylines that's, so, mm. that's so dramatic oh. and so meaty, mm. you know? Mm. And uh, you, you get to show the country that, that that's why I'm here, mm. yeah. you know? Um, I remember I've, I've done a storyline with, with Vanessa once where she got so sick and stuff and I was fighting with this nurse you know, my wife is pregnant and she's sick and she needs to, mm. you know, someone needs to attend to her now. And, mm. and um, just that frustration, man, uh, to, to, to be in a position where you, you, you're always willing to help other people, but now you, you're helpless. You, no one can help you. Help you. Yeah. 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 you know, that was for yeah. me. Because I've, I've never mm. been in that situation. So to stand there and be, and I can't even help my own wife, mm. but I'm helping people every single day. Mm. Sure. That was, was crazy. And I'm yeah. sure, like, uh, Vinette, obviously your character's also grown so much over the 16 yeah. years. Yeah. You started somewhere and you ended somewhere. Yeah. Take yeah. us through that journey of, of, like, sort of right at the beginning mm. to where your character is now. How has Charmaine grown? Well, I think, look, Charmaine has always been the earth mother mm. of, of Seven Delan. She's always been the goody two-shoes. Um, people come to her for advice and, um, you know, Opie Coffee's always been the meeting place for everybody mm. and whatever. Yeah. And... and <sighs> You know, somewhere something's got to give. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so, you know, she, she, she has um, matured in a way that she's, she's become stronger as a mm. person. And um, I think, you know, as, this, as the years have progressed, she's mm. also realized that, you know, she can't always mm. be strong. The, the flaws have started showing, mm. and that's what I like about absolutely. the character. To be able you to know. be a little bit vulnerable. vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You guys, obviously, Seven Alon have really got the viewers' hearts. So I want to get straight yeah. to some of the questions that we've got from our viewers. And the first one's yeah. for you, Charmaine. It's from Priscilla Peterson, who says, Hi, Charmaine. Uh, what is wrong with you that you are so nasty to all the people <laughs> that you love? We love you, and Zander, keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, you're addressed by your, your a character name and not by your name, but yes, that's okay. Right, right, right. Why, why is Charmaine so mean to the people that she loves? Well, that's the million dollar question at the moment. Um, obviously, there, there's, there's lots happening oh, in Charmaine's oh. life at the moment. <laughs> she attracts the drama. And, and um, yeah, there, there's, um, I've, been, I've been asked whether I'm menopausal. Um, <laughs> just, just for, yeah, and yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> it really is hot in this room, is. if you want to know. <laughs> um, but I've been asked whether I'm bipolar. Um, and, oh, wow. uh, and, you know, I've been asked whether I've been drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and all the flaws, you know, people come have sort through. of come because they hate the fact. 
Yeah. They hate the fact that Charmaine is not the nice person mm. anymore because she's mm. gone off the rails at yeah. the moment. And, you know, things are happening. There's a lot of drama happening. Well, but all that she's been through, it's expected. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. But all I can say is watch the space. Yes. Oh, <laughs> okay, we're out of time, Drop but we're going to be bomb. back a little bit later mm. with more questions for you both. Sure. Don't go anywhere. After the break, Bonnie gets vegetarian in the kitchen and we continue our conversation with Theodore and Vinette. And make sure you remember to enter our Go Green SMS competition to win that 1,000 Rand gift card. All the info on this week's question is available on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. You don't want to miss out on this amazing opportunity. We'll be right back. <laughs> The Afternoon Express team is going green. Join us every Tuesday at 4 p.m. until September as we bring you the most innovative trends in sustainable fashion, food, decor and design, as well as handy tips to help you reduce your carbon footprint. Answer our Go Green question every Tuesday and stand a chance to win a thousand Rand Woolies gift card every week. Plus, simply by entering, you also go into the big draw for the ultimate grand prize worth over half a million rand. Including a dream sustainable kitchen makeover from Cordev fitted with Bosch appliances with 300,000 rand. Also, up to 250,000 rand worth of home upgrades so you can live off the grid. Plus, food and homeware from Woolworths valued at 75,000 rand. And a 25,000 rand towards a school of your choice with my school. So, go big. Go Green with Afternoon Express every Tuesday at 4 p.m. to win these amazing prizes. South Africa, are you with us? Welcome back to Afternoon Express live on SABC3. Now, we're about to start making our sh uh, quiche. I nearly said chic. <laughs> our quiche. And Nadia's promised me that it's quite easy. So if you're cooking along with us, go to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za, for the full recipe and shopping list. Nadia, what's the first step? So for our chic quiche. Yes, <laughs> our chic quiche. So um, we start with a pastry. Uh -huh. There's a few tricks with pastry, because I know a lot of people get quite frightened. It's quite temperamental. It yeah? is. Yeah. So firstly, make sure your pastry is nice and cold. Mm -hmm. Dust it with a little flour. How do you make sure it stays cold, although you're trying to keep it thawed? So keep it in the fridge, and as soon as you, before you begin, put it on the table and then... Ah, uh, okay, yeah. okay, cool. Dust your rolling pin, and then just roll it out. So our tin is quite a large round tin, so mm -hmm. we need to roll it out so it'll fit that diameter. Yes. So we roll it, okay. and then we can check it by just putting that over like that. And right. you can see on either side that there's enough space. Yes, okay. Um, I'm going to need your help. Of course. So, um, That's why I'm here. While I roll this over, will you pop the tin underneath the oh, pastry? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a dual effort, yeah. Yes. Just like that. Okay. Yeah, oh, and then we, then we tuck it in. Okay, at the yeah. edges. Yeah. Okay. That's great. And then we can just cut it off. You can just clip it with your hands clip like it. that. Mm -hmm. And then it should tear away. I love pastry. Mm. While I finish, would mm -hmm. you throw the butternut and the sage and season it to okay. how you like it? Perfect. Now, I'm, I'm definitely not vegetarian, and I don't think anyone could pay me enough to become vegetarian. And if I want a little bit of um, meat in my quiche, can I so add, like, anything? You can. You can add chopped salami, you can add ham, mm. you can add chorizo. Ah. The nice thing about this recipe is it's so versatile. So once we make our custard base, which will be a little bit later, okay. you can add it to anything. And you can also make mini tarts as well, which is nice. Right. I see. Awesome. You can How make much olive oil do I need? As much as you like. Just as much custard. as I like. Yeah. Okay. I love lots of olive oil. And then I'm just crimping the sides in. Right. And then I prick the dough. This is just to make sure it rises evenly. I don't know if you've ever baked puff pastry and it's like I wonky. Have, yes, yeah. I have baked puff pastry and I never pricked it. Mm. Yeah, on second thought, I realized what I did wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and you just okay, chuck cool. those in. Do I just... Just sprinkle them in. Okay, yeah. as they are? As they are. Oh, okay. Yeah, they'll shrink a little bit too. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then the um, puff goes into the fridge for a little mm -hmm. bit and then into the oven at 220 degrees right. for 15 minutes. Okay. And then we put the butternut in for 10 minutes at 230 degrees. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So we pour that into our pastry? Mm, no, well, this goes into the oven separately. Oh, this goes yeah. into the oven separately? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> well,
people, don't forget to go our, to our res, um, website for the full recipe before you make a mistake like I just did. But for now, let's head back to the couch with our favorite actors. Thank you, Bonnie. I'm pretty sure I can make you an offer to go vegetarian for me. <laughs> now, today we celebrate the cast of Sia and Delan. We've spoken to them about their journey on the show, but what about off screen? We're back on the couch with Theo and Vinette, and we're chatting to them about their lives outside of Sia and Delan. Mm -hmm. Tell like, us everything. We want to know all the hands <laughs> in that. Why am I suddenly scared? <laughs> no, but you two are both very involved in this industry outside of Seven Delong, mm -hmm. which I love so much. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, Vanette, you, you really did a, a, a hard-hitting production about Tuck, something mm -hmm. we're facing, I think, quite a lot in, in the Western Cape. Uh, yeah. It's quite a big issue. And um, yeah, tell us more about that production itself. Mm. Um, well, it's, it started off with Liz Mayron, mm. who um, was watching TV very late one night, because that's... I think it was something like two o'clock in the morning. Mm. And uh, she saw this program on Ellen Pakis. And I think the next morning at six o'clock, I got this phone call and she was in tears and she just said, we've got to do this play. Mm. And I said, fine, Liz, we will do this play. Sure. Five minutes later, she called me. She said, and Christo Davis has to play the part. I said, fine, <laughs> okay. Liz, that's how it's. <laughs> and the rest is history, you know. Sure. Um, we traveled the country for three years. Mm. We um, we also were lucky enough to do Amsterdam as well mm. and oh. um, Den Haag. Why did you say um, yes to that production? Because it intrigued me. I was in yeah. Cape Town at the time when um, she went to court, mm. and I I just I just fell in love with this woman and her story. Mm. And when the offer came up, I thought I've got to do it. Yeah. It was quite such a hectic story, yeah. and obviously it based yeah. on a true story. Yes. Yeah. So, so yes. that is, I mean, I, I suppose for an actor it's really nice to submerge yourself mm. in a role that is quite intense. Mm. Mm. And the nice bit of news is that we start filming in um, oh, January. Sure, no way is it going to film? Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. On a much lighter note, though, Theo, you <laughs> are obviously are, are the comedian of the group. You love to get involved in a lot of comedy shows. Let's just first start with what Jeannie was saying earlier on. She brought it up. <laughs> Boeing, Boeing. Let's start there. Kom tell us alles. Tell us alles, my friend. What will you love it? You showed a lot of skin. <laughs> yeah, that was laughing, interesting, but, um, hey? I mean, in the, in the first <laughs> the three minutes of the show, I, I, I interned with a towel around my waist. How naked did you go? I, uh, before I go into the bathroom, I drop the towel. Okay, mm. so it in was terrifying. That is like air tang, man. Yeah, yeah, the tannies on bloom. No, the tannies on bloom went. But it was, uh, it's such an amazing production. It's a fast, so it's mm. very fast paced. Yeah. And uh, um, the nice thing about that production is uh, the, the absurdity of the situation. Yes. Uh, the thing is, the audience member. Uh, they feel like they know the plot better than the actor. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And that is the key of that production. Yeah. And I mean, it was such a joy, eh? It was, <laughs> it, but I mean, it's a marathon. You know? Where did the tour to and from? Uh, we, we, we took it to Kaka and Car. Yeah. Um, we went to um, Nelspreet as well. Mm -hmm. And then we, did, uh, we just returned from uh, Bloemfontein. Brilliant. It was fantastic. People loved it. Um, it's just a fun show, and it's so, the set is huge. It's huge wow. and it's so colorful. Yeah. Um, but, but I mean, I, I call it the marathon. Yeah. yeah. Um, I every night when I walk off stage, I just want to just die. <laughs> it's so, and I'm on stage the whole time, two hours straight, and you just mm. feed yeah, these lines, up. and mm. it's yeah. it's such a it's. So so intricate, but it's mm. yeah. such an amazing, amazing production. Now I saw coming to to our loft. You will know that it's a bit of a zoo because everybody's allowed to bring their pets and all of that. Yeah. And I saw that you were obsessed because you yourself are quite the dog lover. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Tell uh, us about your best buddy. I've got a bull bull. He's huge. His name is Tyson. Oh my Where goodness, he's such that gorgeous. Is, yeah, that is that is the boy there. Um, he's six years old now. Yeah. Um, but he's such he's such a gentle giant, eh? Mm. Um, I think he weighs about 68, 72 now. Oh, good, he's, he's, he's huge. He's big boy. Yeah. But he's, 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 in his mind, he's still, he's still a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, need to go, I, I need to do this voice when I, when I see him. Mm. I need, hey, boy. Hey, boy, come here. He's and then he big. goes, okay. <laughs> 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 and now, you know, they always say the best things happen in threes. So three daughters, three granddaughters, three dogs, three cats, three birds, three fish, three flowers, three plants. <laughs> 
isn't it the <laughs> strangest thing? When I was actually doing the, the Q and A, yeah. I suddenly realized, what is this? Yeah. Because there it is. Yeah. Three grandchildren, three <laughs> dogs, three birds. So, you know, and we're in our third cycle of Sea of Andalan. We, you know, all of that kind of, Maybe I'm in my third stage of my life. And I don't know. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe something in the latte. Uh, in the yeah, latte. Yeah, 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 yeah. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. So yeah. you guys are very involved, obviously, outside of the show, which I'm very excited by. I know mm. that I think we have a caller on the line who wants to mm. chat to you guys uh, live. Uh, what is your question or comment? Oh, oh, we don't have the caller right now. The caller is <laughs> gone. All right. <laughs> but don't you want to play a game? I He's a bit of a again. trickster. Okay. So uh, I'll go and get it prepared because I have a whole bunch of questions that I want to be asking you guys, and we've got some cool prizes and things for you. We'll play that a little bit later on in the show. Uh, okay. okay, good. Okay. Now tell us what is the plan for the rest of the year? Uh, what is your shooting schedule like for Seven Uh Wow. Um, you know, we you're just gonna walk. walk how walk often to every do you single, shoot? Every single day. Every single so day. So it's and a twelve-hour day. And then how often from when, when sure. do you film it? Do we see it on TV? About two and a half months. Okay, uh, amazing. Two months. Six, is it six weeks? I think. Amazing. amazing. Yeah. And your characters are they are they expected yeah. to grow further in their in their lives? Are they expected to you know, obviously they're growing, but yeah. What can we expect well, from them? Um, I th I think. We've gone through a lot of changes, mm. yeah. Yeah. and change is always good. It's mm. scary, mm. but it's good. Yeah. And I think Seven Alan, as we knew it, is definitely, uh, um, you know, there's a new phase happening. Well, there's a new there's theme a tune, firstly. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know there was a lot of people that's complaining about yeah, that, yeah. But, but that's just part of the, of the change. It's going to grow on them. This one's going to grow on them it's as well. It's a sign that it's got a lot longer still yeah, to go, which yeah, is awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's a little bit more hip and happening, mm. you know. Okay. And I think it's so, the timing is also yeah, it's perfect. Uh, yeah. you know, you know, at some point you have to mm. go into the to the next phase mm. yes. of the so show. And we're going to get into the next phase of our interview yeah. a little yes. bit later. Yeah. Of course, Danilo's yeah. got a game that he wants to play with you. He's a bit of a trickster. Yeah. <laughs> but for you, a reminder to go out and get your 50 Rand off SA's number one foundation just by purchasing Revlon Colorstay Foundation now in July at any leading retail and pharmacy stores nationwide. Take a selfie with the product and you and your plus one, uh, your bestie or your lover, could win a 24-hour experience in Bonang's life. Hanging out here on set, enjoying the city life by dining at one of her favorite restaurants, staying at her favorite hotel and turning love on. Whether you are in love or looking for love, whatever, just take a pic of you and your Revlon Color Stay Foundation and tweet at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Foundation Fridays and hashtag love is on or post it on our Facebook page at Afternoon Express. This amazing prize is valued at 25,000 rand and it includes an all-expenses-paid trip to Cape Town for two, dinner at an A-list restaurant, plus a 10,000 rand shopping spree. So get tweeting now, just like these viewers already have. Don't forget the hashtags. Hashtag Foundation Fridays. Hashtag Love is on. After the break, we catch up with Pemba, the rehabilitated dog, at the Walk the Talk charity event. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Afternoon Express on three. Okay, so our pumpkin is ready and our quiche is out the oven. So what do we do now? Okay, so I'm gonna take you through this magic custard. Mm -hmm. What's great magic about it custard. is that you don't need to weigh anything. Okay, So lovely. you just take a 250 gram plain cream cheese and you put that into your bowl. I meant to ask you earlier, mm. is there a um, gluten-free option or any other option that I can use apart from pastry? There definitely is. You could. Um, take salami and put it in a cupcake tin and then put the pumpkin in and the custard and bake that in the oven. Oh, wow. Or you've, I don't know if you've seen on social media, there's like these bacon cups. You could use the same mi mixture bacon for cups. that. Yeah. Mm. You could also make an almond, if you're adventurous, mm -hmm. make an mm -hmm. almond pa a crust pastry. Okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. Mm. There you have it. Okay, cool. Um, then we add in three eggs. All right. So there's a little tip with this because you don't want egg on your face. <laughs> and the cream cheese is usually quite hard, so you would leave it out for a couple of hours before soft. you do okay. this. So just smooth it in. So you get gently, gently. Slowly, so you yeah. get a little bit of a mix before you decide to whisk it. All right, yeah. all right. Just to separate it a bit. Yeah. Okay. We can add in, we add in half the Parmesan cheese. Okay. Just, um, that'll help absorb a little bit of the mm, egg. Mm. It'll add a little bit of salt and um, 
and of course, lovely flavor. Cheese. <laughs> we love we cheese. We love cheese. Yes. Um, okay, wonderful. Yeah, well, I mix this up. Should I do something on the side here? Yes, please. Okay. So you can just pile the pumpkin evenly on our crust. All right. Perfect. I'm just going to switch to a whisk. Okay. Over here, yeah. Right. So um, you just whisk it until it's smooth and there are no lumps. Mm -hmm. Are there any other options I can use apart from butternut? You could. If I'm not a butternut fan. You well, could I use, am, but oh, if others aren't. Well, what do you enjoy? Well, I love pumpkin. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> sweet potato, maybe? You could do sweet potato. You could add a little bit of curry mix to it and make a sweet potato curry um, quiche. Oh, right. You could do uh, spinach and feta. I mean, that's yes, like Yes, 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 of course. Pumpkin and um, you could add bacon. I, I, I like chorizo and like a... Or pancetta. Yeah. Mm, pancetta is my favorite. Okay. Okay, cool. Here we go. And then we just pour this custard mixture on. Oh, that was quick. It looks mm. nice and smooth. Mmm. So just evenly Definitely coat it. Definitely looks like custard. Yummy. Yeah. And then if you could do the honors, and sprinkle all the cheese over okay. the top. Okay, okay, perfect. Definitely do that. And of course, remember, if you want the full recipe and shopping list, go to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. Okay. And then once all of it's it? done, all of it. Well, okay. we love our cheese. We love I Parmesan. Love I'm so excited about this. That's why I'm just taking my time. <laughs> well, we bake it at 180 degrees for uh -huh. about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And it'll okay. be bubbly and delicious. Okay, yeah, awesome. There we go. It looks beautiful well, already. That is a lot of cheese. Yeah, it is a lot of cheese. I can't wait to so eat it all. It's cheesy quiche now. It's not any more chic, chic, chic cheesy quiche. quiche. <laughs> <laughs> a holiday to a remote part of Mozambique turned into a rescue mission for a Johannesburg family. And after finding a badly beaten young Afrikaner dog in the town of Vancoulis, they named him Pemba. Last week, his story warmed our hearts, and we can't get enough of this happy, wagging little tale. So we caught up with Pemba and his owner, Myra, at the Walk the Talk event this past Sunday, where they joined thousands of people and their four-legged good friends to walk for a cause of charity. Thousands of canines bounded towards Marks Park Sports Club Amarantia to walk a five or eight kilometer route with their two-legged families. Myra, Hilly and one of our most lovable furry friends, Pemba, were among the large crowd walking for a good cause. We were on holiday in Mozambique and this skinny, miserable looking dog attached himself to us. He kept following us when we walked on the beach and he was obviously starving and his one eye was swollen. We could see, he couldn't see it out of it. So we approached the manager of the resort and he told us the dog didn't belong to anyone and that we could take him. But that involved quite a journey. We first phoned the vet Anna in Mozambique gave him all the tests, sent them away, kept him in quarantine, but eventually we got Pemba home, and then our long journey started. With dogs of all shapes and sizes welcome to participate, there was no excuse for a lazy Sunday for both the dogs and their owners. Pemba has got the most loving personality. It took him a long time to settle. Him and my poodle Nelson had a few scraps until Nelson told Pemba, I am the boss. And he adds to everyone's life. He's got his favorite people, he knows who give him treats, and he's a very happy dog. Well, our cause is always animals. Our heart goes out to animals. We do our best for society. We walk in the five kilometers, because the first time Pemba's done it, he's very good, but he doesn't like the lead. Because dogs love to walk and explore, it's likely that you will walk further with your pet than you would if you simply went walking alone. So your dog gets exercise and so do you. Remember to hydrate and bring water along for your pet, especially when it's hot. Pemba wasn't the only celebrity doing the walk. Paralympic swimmer Natalie Dutoy was part of the throng on the street. We've just started and I must say that we're much more sheltered here. We're not feeling the cold. And Pemba's behaving himself too beautifully. He seems to know what's expected of him, walking like a real gentleman. Nelson is, seems a bit restless. He wants to 
chat to every dog he sees, but Pemba seems to be loving it. He loves people, and I think that's why he's enjoying the walk so much. This is Spotty and Squirrel. Normally I walk them alone, but today we're a good course for Save the Rhino. And um, they don't really mix with other dogs. They prefer to be on their own. <laughs> it's a fantastic community thing that 702 is doing, and it's, oh, Jess is enjoying it. She wanted to take her dog for a walk today. Ella's my little puppy, and she's very naughty, and that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> I think a lot of people do realize the plight of animals, but it's very important to keep it in their, in their view so they always remember that there are a lot of starving and abused animals, and we should each do our best to save, save one at least. We are walking the talk for Special Wings Foundation, We're raising funds for kids for the education purposes. And uh, the vibe is good, it's cold though, fresh. <laughs> Doing it because I love it, and it's exercise for my dog. So this is about the fifth year we're doing it. The vibe is great, it's so exciting, our dogs are very excited. We're just walking to take our dogs out on a nice Sunday stroll. We're at the halfway mark now, and Pemba's done very, very well. There is a little bit of an icy wind, but everybody here is all wrapped up against the weather, except the doggies. And Pemba's certainly not used to it. He's used to the Mozambican sun. I think he feels the cold. And he's looking forward to the end of the race when he's gonna get his treat. A tasty Beano treat at the finish line was a well-received and nutritious reward for all the fur kids, including Pemba. It ensured all the tails stayed wagging while the human companions got refreshments and reflected on the walk. Well, it was hard in the beginning because there were so many people and we were packed up, but then gradually it got easier. And Pemba was really good. They can't wait to eat their beanos. He lives a wonderful life. He has two walks a day at Beautiful Dam and he's forever on holiday. And he's a wonderful companion and I think he keeps Celia and I active. And we have a happy time. No, keep their tails wagging. Express yourself. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now we're going to test Vanette and Theodore's Stephen Delan general knowledge. The winner will walk away with the scrumptious Lint Creation Hamper. Minus three slabs because this is for me. <laughs> <laughs> but the loser doesn't walk away empty handed either. They will get a gorgeous little edible gift inspired by Hilda's Deli from Seven Delan. Some lovely roasted garlic mushroom and marshmallow date balls. It's Whoa. quite an interesting combo, don't you think? Yummy. Yeah. So. I'm like, boys to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how the game's going to work. So basically, each of the contestants will be supplied with a cell phone buzzer, which you guys have heard them playing with. If they know the answer to the question, they press the red button on the screen. Whoever pushes the fastest gets to answer the question. A correct answer earns you one point, and after ten questions, the contestant with the most points wins the hamper. So, guys, you've got your buzzers in front of you. Let me just uh, distinguish between the two noises. So let's try with you... Uh, Theodore? Oh, it smells good. <laughs> okay, so that's your sound, Theo, <laughs> and like your sound, already. Vinette? <laughs> okay, so yours is more of like a tinkle <laughs> bell from uh, your little pink bicycle with little fillies <laughs> on the edge. Okay, no, we get it. And the prize is good. And she's our judge, so if you want to bribe somebody with more chocolate and stuff, <laughs> this is the person. All right, so your first question, what is the name of Obas's family farm where his mother still lives? Okay, Vinette, you get to answer this one. Rondomskrik. That's correct. Well done. Yay! One point. One point for this. I'm the, uh, the scorekeeper. Okay, cool. Okay. Then, second question. Who owns the Heights? <laughs> yes, Theodore? Uh, T. Tab. T uh, what's her name? Uh, <laughs> you can't uh, ask. She's your competition. Uh, 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 uh huh. You get on the right track. Four, three, <gasps> two, one. Want to try it? Want to try it? What's her name? Letter. No. Incorrect. No. The correct answer is Zandile, wow. zero. Okay, third question. It was way back, it was way back, I don't know. It was way back. <laughs> <laughs> Which girl was 
Was Bart engaged to before he died? Was? Bart engaged to before he died. Who's? Neil Sandlin's. <laughs> no, incorrect. <laughs> So which girl no, was no, Bart girl engaged to before he died? The coffee shop. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Amalia, Amalia. Nia, um, Nia. Um, 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 what was it? What was it? What was it? Nia, what? Say the name three, again. Bart, and who was he engaged who's to before he, engaged uh, to? he died? Tessa. Correct. Hey. Correct. Theodore, uh, one point. Okay, one Ooh. each. Cool. Just Fourth question. Who is the Terra Blanche's housekeeper for many years? Who was? Evelina. Who answered? Who buzzed first? I think it was Theodore buzzed first. Oh, see, see? Evelina? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the question. That is the question. Are you happy with it? What's your answer? E Evelina. Correct. Thank well you. done. So who's got it? I'm giving one each. He gets it. Gets it. Yeah, whatever. Okay, fine. I'm okay, okay give one each. Okay, here. number five. <laughs> what was the name of Steve Hoffmeyer's character when he came to see <laughs> I'm not answering that. Um, okay. I'm principal. <laughs> yes, want to try it at all? Nobody cares. <laughs> Brun. Yeah. Yeah, Bran. Bran Bad. Bran. Yeah, Fun Bad. Bran. Bran. One each. They kind of got half and half. Bran, they, Bran. Bran, Fun Bad. Fun Bad. Fun Bad. Fun Bad. Number six. <laughs> Who I've performs, said it all for you. <laughs> Who performs the original Sierra Delan theme song? Theodore's buzz went off first. Uh, um, Soweto. Just give the auntie a chance. Uh, okay. He's not gonna get it. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Pardon? I'm gonna be a, no, no, I'm gonna be a gentleman. A gentleman, okay. Let her answer, <laughs> yeah. Soweto string quartet. Correct, well done. Number seven. You see, that, what? that's what I do. You know, that's what gentlemen do. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> no pleasure. What is the name of the boutique? Eclectic E. Yes, correct, well done. <laughs> Number eight. To whom does Paula <laughs> regularly go for beauty treatments? Yes? Laura Lee. Correct! <laughs> this is on the roll. No, she's, she's, she's been on the show uh, 16 years. I, I've only been there That's 12. That's no excuse. <laughs> Come on. So, okay, Six number nine. Three so far. Whose nickname was O Crocodile? Um, 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 uh, Chris Van Niekerk, um, what, um, what, what um, did you um, play? It's not the answer, no? Uh, uh, Chris Van Niekerk was, uh, 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 Francois. Francois, Francois <laughs> correct, that's it. Well done. This thing buzzed Good. itself. One more, one more question. What is Obas's nickname for his mother? <laughs> oh, Mookie. 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 Yeah. Oh. It's Mookie. I have no idea who wins now, because that was about, like, 7-3. Can we? Oh, cool. Secure? Okay. Oh. We've got gifts. This, my darling, is yours. <laughs> oh. You have for mine or some? <laughs> you, you, you may have can some. I, can I help really? <laughs> this is for you. It's the mushroom, garlic, and date balls. Oh. And the marshmallows in there, too. Well done. Well done. Well done. I just want to thank well my done. mom <laughs> for this. Nobody Never leaves mind, her empty I'm hands sharing, I'm sharing, I'm sharing, I'm sharing, sharing is caring. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll go back and share it so with the So do you want to try cost. one of those date no, balls? We'll... I recommend you do, because I think that's quite a fascinating concoction. Mushrooms, garlic, marshmallow, I think have a yeah. go. Yeah, just do it. Jeannie, Pop one in the mouth. Jeannie, I know you want one. I'm mm. going to be a gentleman again. No, I'm on a diet. Yeah, yeah, Hilda put I'm a lot on of... TV, I can't eat dinner. Hilda put well. a lot of time and effort into these, and I know she can make some pretty disgusting <laughs> things in your show, so... Oh. I'll pass. Oh I tested sure? them before the live show, and, and you can smell the garlic. So this is the problem when you're a yes man. You do <gasps> all of this kind of nonsense. Heavenly They're not bad, guys. Oh, I think I've got an actual date oh. one. Okay. Oh. Okay. For now, so though, she's... Bonnie is in our garden, and she has a few she's tips delicious. on how you guys can stay healthy what? during the winter, and I can promise you it's nothing to do with garlic. Because the winter weather often keeps us indoors, we tend to eat a lot more than we do in warmer months. The types of rich and comforting foods we enjoy in winter aren't always the healthiest choices. Let's chat to Kelly for another installment of Natural Goodness from Fresh Pack. Hi Kelly. Hi Bonnie. How are you doing? Good, and you? Awesome. It's a little bit cold outside it these is. days. It is. It's very chilly. Can I pour you some tea? Yes, so please. Now, Kelly, the last thing we want to all do in winter is brave the winter cold. <sighs> Yes. What can we do to stay active in winter? Please give us some practical tips. Okay, so we do need to keep exercising. Mm. And we all know that our summer bodies are made in, in winter, winter, right? Yes. So you don't want to have that traumatic experience where you go and try on your bikini for the first time after winter and it's a disaster, right? So <laughs> in the winter time, you still need to do your exercise. Okay. And for me, I have to remind myself that when I'm at home, 
and I really don't want to go outside. Actually, the one thing that warms me up and makes me feel best is exercise. It's exercise. And it also boosts your immune system. Mm -hmm. So there's so many reasons to do it. So even if it feels like a bit of a chore, it's really important. And something that I have to remember is that if I'm dressed properly for it, then I don't feel the cold as much. Right. So that means running in my long sleeves and making sure that I'm warm when I go outside so mm -hmm. it's not so horrible. Right. Yeah. Now, in winter, all we want to do is binge on comfort food. Oh, yes. How can we try and make healthier choices to maintain our health throughout the winter? Well, you do have to support that kind of natural urge to stay warm. So it's not that you have to eat salad all the way through winter. You can still yeah. eat oh. soups and stews and warm food. And one of the tips that I give people a lot is that even if you're taking a salad to work in a Tupperware, then you can take a cup of hot tea as well and eat your cold food and your hot tea at the same time. And it kind of neutralizes all that cold stuff that you're eating. Right. So there are ways around it. And if you're adding something like tea every day, you know, three times a day, then you're getting all the fluid that you need. So you're still exercising, you still need water. And it might not be as nice to drink as much water during the day. Of so course. tea really does help in winter. So what are some of the healthy rooibos choices available to us to help us keep healthy throughout winter? Well, I always feel like even if you're having a flavored tea, that it's much better than drinking lots of sugary drinks or anything that's got lots and lots of milk and calories and extra mm. sugar and things added to it. You know, we all want to drink hot chocolate and things that are flavored. So if you're drinking a plain tea with no additives in it, then it really helps you to save kilojoules, but right. still keep warm at the same time. That's right. And with fresh pack rooibos, the lemon, honey, and ginger flavors are perfect to warm you up on the cold winter days. And the kids range provides delicious flavors like strawberry and vanilla, peach and apricot, and apple flavor too. Goodness comes naturally. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Oh boy, are we having fun with a fantastic cast from Stephen Deline with Vinette and Theodore live in our loft. So uh, we're going to take a quick caller. Uh, we've got Kiana, like Rihanna with a K. Hi, Kiana, how are you? Hi, Kimi. Are you well, my darling? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Great. What is your question or comment? I have a comment. I would just like to say to Charmaine that the time family loves the new Charmaine because because she is bringing out the um, she's bringing out the things that happen in everyday life. Does that happen every day in your life, darling? <laughs> <laughs> no, in my life. <laughs> bye, Kiana. Thank you so much. Th thank you, Kiana. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. There's actually been a lot of comments coming online about your new character and how they're really enjoying that antagonist that she's playing at the moment. So it's been very cool. I know Winnie uh, also online says, Charmaine, how challenging is it to work with these young actors and actresses? Ah. Um, it's... It's not, it is challenging, um, but it's an absolute joy because okay. I love young talent. Um, mm. I learn from them. I mm. admire them and they inspire me. Yeah. So yeah. I, um, you know, it, for me, it's an absolute joy. Oh, awesome. 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 Mm. And of course, Berlin Theron says, Vinette and Theodore, are there any similarities between yourselves and your characters? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, um, I, uh, every actor should should uh, there should be a, a level of, of, of your personal personality in, in in your character to make it believable and make it honest. So um, yeah, absolutely, not all of it, but uh, yeah, there should be there should be some of your characteristics in in your character to make and it. Vinette, to make it you? <laughs> yes, I, I think you you do give a little bit of yourself um, into any character that you play. You know, yeah. there's, there's there's a little bit, but um, no, Charmaine is too much of a goody two shoes for me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we've got another comment for you, Durantia <laughs> Ashley. Joshua says, is Theodore also such a gentleman in real life as he is on Seven Delan? Mm. I yes. can answer that. <laughs> he is an absolute gentleman, oh. and he's. Uh, Whoever brought him up did a wonderful job, Aww. and I'm proud to be working with him. And whoever you marries much. him is going to be a very lucky woman. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank well, you. let's see very, about very that. Much. Have you learned how to cook out of the Seven Delon cookbook? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can, I can, well, I can, I can make 
a good uh, spaghetti. Well, egg. Spaghetti. spaghetti. I don't know spaghetti is in the cookbook, but yeah. <laughs> any boiling the pasta. Yeah. Pasta. No, I'm good with a breakfast, eh? Okay. Oh, nice. I, I, I can make a mean, <laughs> mean breakfast. I can make Kellogg's mm. and coffee. Yeah. yeah. Scrambled eggs. You sign the book. Yeah. You don't know what's inside of it. <laughs> I didn't sign it. Oh, just wondering. <laughs> just making sure. But but yeah, I'll, 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 I can make a mean breakfast. I'm good to that. But yeah. the cookbook is tremendously popular. I mean, mm. do you have it at home? Do you use it? I mean, are you a cook as well? Um, uh, we were asked a question um, for the program, and it said, what is one of your most embarrassing moments? Yeah. And my answer was, every time I try to cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my so, God. Yeah. I'm glad we've cooked yeah. for you guys here today. So uh, this thing you. looks incredible, by the way, Bonds. Guys, yeah. really, really oh, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I put a lot of Parmesan in this, so uh, I can smell. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah. So can I yeah. tuck in and, and cut up some slices for you? Can I have some? I would love a slice. Cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you so Thank much. You. Well, now you know how to make a quiche. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You need... What did you call it, Bonnie? A, a chic quiche? A chic <laughs> cheese quiche. Well, yeah. that's chic fantastic. Chic cheese quiche. Yeah. Chic cheese quiche. Try, try saying that quickly. Chic oh, cheese yeah. quiche. A chic cheese quiche. Yeah, <laughs> chic cheese quiche. Today has been absolutely amazing and we actually keep on looking at the Twitter feeds and the Facebook pages and yet the two of you are so ridiculously popular. I mean, yeah. um, like, is there any message that you want to say out yeah. to your fans? Because literally we are, the, the, the streams of social media are coming mm. in with people yeah. just loving you. Um, and this is what I, what I always, uh, you know, I always tell people, especially the, the young people that, that aspiring actors, that, that you should never stop dreaming. It's all about yeah. that dream. I'm still dreaming. I'm, I'm, I'm living my dream, but I'm still dreaming, dreaming of, of bigger things to come. And, yeah. and you should never let the dream go or die. You exactly. will achieve that dream if you just focus on at, uh, getting there and, 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 and living it. You've also got a new play coming up. Yes, I'm working on a, on a one-man show, myself uh -huh. and Christo. We're busy that we, is so we're in the writing, writing mm -hmm. process at the moment. And, I'm looking forward to it, you know, awesome. being on stage on my own and, 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 yeah. and, and, and doing all these, these characters on, um, in, in one show yeah. is, is going to yeah. be challenging, but it's going to be amazing, and I'm looking mm. so forward to it. Awesome. Man. I just want to put this out there. I know Judy's had a, a cameo on uh, Seven Deline before, so uh, I'm waiting for a call <laughs> from <laughs> Seven Deline. This is very good. Is it right? Yeah. Is it amper heel to mal tweetalig? Yeah, heel to mal tweetalig. So South African now, but, um, so don't we? You know, don't be surprised. No, no, we no, oh, so, I won't be surprised. Yeah, I'm gonna be waiting. I'm gonna be waiting. Here you go. Pass that down. There well, it's go. been an Thank absolutely you. wonderful show. Thank you so much for joining us. Wow. It's been really, really, very Thanks special. For us. Yeah. And of course, thank you for joining us at home. We're going to be back again tomorrow between four and five, only on SABC3. Have yourselves a wonderful afternoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that, good night and happy eating. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow on Afternoon Express, we speak with model and artist Ilana Drago. Designer Marion Fassler shows us a sneak peek of her latest collection hours before her show at Cape Town Fashion Week. And in the next installment of our fabulous fashion series, we showcase up-and-coming Durban designer Sibo Msimang. Uh, never feel good production. Join us next time for more fabulous fun inspired by First for Women on Afternoon Express. For an insurance quote, call 0861 11 or SMS FIRST to 49267.